Hi everyone, happy Friday. I don't know if this ever happened to you, but I remember one time as a child going down to the kitchen and realizing that my mom had gone to the store. She got my favorite box of cereal, Lucky Charms. Yeah, I was really excited and I couldn't wait to have some Lucky Charms. And I went into the fridge only to find out that there was no more milk. I wanted Lucky Charms so bad, I got a bowl, I got the spoon, and I uh, took it and I poured some into the bowl, and right away, I just kind of began to try and eat it dry. That's pretty good, but when you really want cereal and it's the morning, it really wasn't quite the same. So I thought, well, what could I do? This is kind of crunchy, what could I do? And I thought, oh, I know. What if I got water? I'll, I'll have some water, and I'll put the water in the cereal, and, and that way I can have Lucky Charms. So I poured water on my cereal, and I said, wow, this is going to be great. Maybe uh, maybe I found something new. And I took a bite, and that was not good. That was really not what I was looking for. Well, I finally just asked my mom. She went to the store, and... She said, absolutely. I didn't realize we were out of milk. So she went and got some milk for me. And she came back, and I had to wait a little bit, but I got my cereal and got a new bowl, poured out the old water bowl, got a chance to get some milk, poured some milk on that cereal, grabbed my spoon. Now that, that's Lucky Charms. What's the point? The point is, is that so often in life, we try and live and get something less than what Jesus offers. Jesus in the scripture says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. You know, I wonder, is there an area in your life where maybe you're settling for a bowl with water and lucky charms, when really Jesus is saying, I have so much more for you if you would trust me. Let's go to him this weekend and let's consider that as we examine our lives and consider where are the places that we're settling for something other than Jesus and his design and his calling on our lives. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this weekend and the opportunity to, again, maybe catch our breath from a busy week and have the opportunity to come before you and ask the question, Lord, where is it that we are missing that abundant life that you bring? You long to give it to us. That's why you're here. And yet so oftentimes we settle for something far less. Would you give us uh, guidance by your Holy Spirit and your word to show us those places where you long to fill us up and replace the things with the genuine gifts of the Spirit that you give? And would you bring that to our lives this weekend? We thank you, Jesus, for the life that you give, and we look forward to receiving it in full from you as we continue to follow you. We pray this now in Jesus' name. Amen.